Thank you for purchasing a liquid withdrawal device from Worthington Industries. This video covers how to use, install, fill, and operate a liquid withdrawal device. Before using this equipment for the first time, please review your operating manual. There are some general safety precautions associated with utilizing liquid nitrogen. Do not touch liquid or cold metal surfaces with your bare skin. Always wear a face shield and gloves when transferring liquid nitrogen. Keep your head clear of the heavy volume of vapor that may be produced. It is extremely cold and could cause personal injury. Nitrogen gas can cause suffocation without warning. In a confined area, nitrogen gas from this equipment may displace air required for breathing. Store and use this equipment only in well-ventilated areas. Use only containers designed for low temperature liquids. Cryogenic containers should be filled slowly to minimize stresses which can damage the container. Pressure in a doer with liquid withdrawal device installed should never exceed 7.25 PSIG, 0.5 bar, or 50 kPa. Fill the doer from a supply source at 22 PSIG, 1.52 bar, or 152 kPa or less. Do not pressurize using compressed air. Installing a liquid withdrawal device. To install a liquid withdrawal device, remove the neck tube cap or core from the doer. Remove three flat head mounting screws in the base of the plastic trim collar around the neck of the doer. Remove the collar and discard or save for later. It is not used while the liquid withdrawal device is installed. The liquid withdrawal tube, which is the longer of the two plastic tubes, is scored approximately 6 inches or 152 millimeters from the end. This tube must be shortened for use with a 25LD or 35LD doer by breaking off the 6 inch section and discarding it. For the 50LD doer, the tube is used as supplied. Insert the longer plastic tube into the underside of the flange assembly beneath the liquid valve. Then, insert the shorter plastic tube into the threaded fitting on the underside of the flange assembly beneath the vent valve. Tighten the compression nuts with a wrench to secure. Position the safety cable assembly around the top of the doer underneath the flange. Loosen V-band clamp until the clamp is large enough to remove the liquid withdrawal device. Drop the band clamp around the flange on the doer. Clean the flange o-ring and apply a thin layer of silicone grease before placing it on the grooved flange. Note: Be sure flange surfaces are warm, clean, and dry. The o-ring must be cleaned and lightly lubricated before installing the liquid withdrawal device. Carefully lower the liquid withdrawal device unit into the doer. It should rest firmly centered on the neck flange of the doer. The tube should not touch the bottom of the doer. Place the band clamp around the flange of both the liquid withdrawal device unit and the doer. Be sure that the clamp is properly engaged on both flanges and tighten the clamp by hand only. Attach the snap of the safety cable to the ring on the liquid withdrawal device. If the spout assembly is to be used, install it on the outlet fitting above the liquid valve. The phase separator will ensure a controlled flow of liquid. Filling and operating the liquid withdrawal device. To fill, remove the spout assembly and connect a 22 PSIG, 1.52 bar, or 152 kPa, or lower pressure liquid supply cylinder to the withdrawal device using a liquid nitrogen transfer hose with female CGA-295 connections on both ends. Once the transfer hose is connected, open the liquid withdrawal device vent valve first, then open the liquid valve. Slowly open the liquid valve on the supply cylinder until liquid flow is established. Adjust the vent valve to maintain a back pressure of 7.25 PSIG or less in the doer. When liquid sputters from the vent valve, quickly close the liquid valve on the supply cylinder, next the liquid withdrawal device liquid valve, and then the vent valve. Warning: Closely monitor doer pressure throughout the fill process. Never let the pressure exceed 7.25 PSIG. If the pressure approaches 7.25 PSIG, Immediately fully open the liquid withdrawal device vent valve and or close the liquid valve as necessary to control the pressure in the doer. Loosen the hose connection slowly and allow all pressure and any remaining liquid to dissipate before completing